Uh, what's up everyone? Noxtra's here again. And I would like to open some packs. Uh, today I've actually been playing TCGO a lot. I haven't played it for a little while, but today I did a lot. And it was really fun. I um, did a lot of the trainer challenge stuff. And I've been using the... Well, I used the... Uh, Grass X and Y deck, and I found out the X and Y decks were way better than the Heart Gold Soul Silver decks, <laughs> or at least from what I've seen. It's just based on like the basic Pokemon that are like 100 HP plus. It's so much better. Like I unlocked all three of these, and I unlocked the green one for X and Y so yeah I've been doing quite a few of these um just working on the city championship I'll uh I don't know I'll do some of it on screen every time that I open up a a uh, few packs but um yeah also figured out oh, whatever I also figured out what getting to four stars gives you and it unlocks a booster pack or at least for her it did so over time I'll work on getting four stars for like everybody and I'll open up all the packs on as like bonuses each week to go along with the packs that I opened up in person. Um, but anyway, that's enough talking. Let's actually enter these codes. I don't know why I've been derping around when I could have been entering the codes while I was talking to you guys. Um, right. So... Yeah, as I talked about in the path opening for the Mega Alakazam uh, pin blister stuff, I do not have my camera yet, unfortunately. It's been taking a lot longer than I thought it would. It's been like a week and a half now since I ordered it and it's still not in. But hopefully, by the time I record my next video, I will have it. Um, yeah, and I'm planning something pretty good for the next one for when I have my new camera. It's not going to be as good as the booster box, but it'll be pretty nice. And it won't be the first month, the week of the month, which every single month I'm going to try for the first week of the month to have a big opening. But I'm going to have a big one for the second week, hopefully, to make up for that. Anyway, here is the three Fates Collide packs. And obviously, considering our pulls, like our pulls were insane. So definitely check out our opening video if you want to find out about that. We can't, like, pretty much the only way we could get better pulls is if we pull the secret rare card. Or maybe an Alakazam EX, considering I want it so badly. Uh, let's do it. And let's see what we get. Both Riolu arts in the same pack. We got a Hawlucha, which I don't think I actually have. Even though I've opened up, what, like 11 packs of Fates Collide now? Uh, and... That's cool! That's not Secret Rare. Yeah, I guess the only the one card Secret Rare, but... That is really cool. I'll take that. 
flip two coins for each head, discard two cards from the top of your opponent's deck. Huh. That might be something you could run like a one-off of. Maybe we can get better pulls than we did before. In real life. IRL. Break? No, it's just a reverse rare. I, I really, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of this artwork. Oh, speaking of Moltres, why isn't there a full art secret rare Moltres in Generations? No love for Moltres, kind of hollow dolphin. Da the hollow Delphox. I wish I could talk. It's cool how the hollow kind of follows your mouse. Or, I guess it just kind of shines with your mouse. Either way. Psystorm sounds pretty good, actually. I don't know what Delphox Break is, but Psystorm sounds good. Prevent all effects to your opponent's attacks, except damage. Oh, all effects of your opponent's attacks, except damage done to the Pokemon this card is attached to. Kind of interesting. We got another end. A reverse holo rare? No, I think that's just a common. And. A rare Lugia. But still, that's pretty cool. I think I should have at least one pack. Yeah? Oh, yo. I, I've got a lot of packs, actually. Maybe I should just make this a uh, mega opening. Maybe I will make this a mega opening and ditch the whole battling aspect. Let's see here. Sorry, I was just checking the time of the video. Wow, Haluch is a regular or a common card in this set. What even is this set? I don't even. I wasn't even paying attention. Roaring Skies, I think. Oh, that's interesting. Eight cards on the bunch. Uh, that artwork's pretty cool. This artwork's kind of like the uh, one snow over that I really liked. It's like a uh, crayon. Oh my goodness. That's super cool. That artwork's actually the coolest thing. Ancient Trade Dragonite. But I don't know how playable that is. Three grass and electric and a normal or a colorless energy. That's a powerful attack though. I don't know. And a Salamence Hollow. That artwork's really cool too. And it's got three attacks. Discard any stadium card. 20 damage times the number of cards in the opponent's hand. And discard three energy attached to this Pokemon. Ew, that's terrible. I guess it's 170 damage though. I'm not sure how much I like Dragon, but I've never really built a deck. So I don't know. It's just like having two different types of energy there. I feel like that would be kind of terrible. Unpractical. Impractical. Mm. I mean, this is... This is the first video of the month, so maybe I can make it... Make the uh, online opening be a mega opening, since we didn't open a booster box or anything special, so let's do that. Actually, I'll just open one of each of these. Or all of the packs that I actually have. Wow, look at that Froakie. Wow! All of these cards look 
really cool. <laughs> what kind of art is that? Like, actually looks like it's, like, misdrawn or miscolored. Another crayon sort of artwork. Jolly Froakie. Whoa. When sharing each player's turn, if that player's active Pokemon is asleep, he or she may remove the special condition and heal 30 damage from that Pokemon. Eh. Palpatone. Great Ball. Hone Edge. Reverse Hollow. And... Suicune. A Hollow? Wow. What is it? Like, all of these packs have Hollows or something? <laughs> As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, prevent all effects from your opponent's attacks except damage. That's actually a pretty good card. No, I don't want to get more. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at this artwork. That's like hyper realistic. It doesn't look like fur though. I don't. That's kind of creepy. That's like Slenderman. Slen Slender Purr. That's like in a jungle. This is really cool artwork. It's like not cartoonish, you know, these two. And then search your deck for two basic Pokemon, put them in your hand, and shuffle your deck. Shuffle two supporters from your discard pile into your deck. I, artwork's really cool too. Man, I can't wait to open some booster boxes. Like, actually, yeah, it's actually a hollow in it, like every pack. As often as you like during your turn, you may remove one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. I mean, I guess that's okay, but it's only 10 damage. Oh my. But that only really works if uh, they're attacking the bench. It's an interesting card though. Watch this bullet Charizard EX for some reason. A reverse hollow float soul, which is a rare. I figured out how to tell if it's a rare. Uh, let's look at some of these artworks. That looks really ominous and cool. Uh, reminds me of Ash back in the day having a Pidgeotto. That's another hyper realistic art that looks really cool. Kind of go together. I want it to be a croc crocora. Actually, since I got a sand dial and a crook. Oh, that's a crook rock. What is it? A crook dial, then, I guess? My B. Stun tank. Regular rare. Okay. Um. I guess I don't have to press that. Let's see what good stuff we can get. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's so cute! That Eevee is super cute. When you attach a basic energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, you may search your deck for a card that evolves this Pokemon that is the same type of thing. Wow! That's cool. Electabuzz and Magmar in the same pack. Strong energy. Why is this? Oh, I guess fossil cards are uncommon usually. Bad influence. If you have any dark Pokemon on your bench, search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon. That's cool too. A verse hollow Tyrone and a normal Tyrone in the same power. And a hollow victory bell. It's cool that they're giving like not as um 
like popular, not as popular old Pokemon of uh, Hollow cards. Once during your turn, you may discard it. Oh, well, discard a Leaf Energy attached to this Pokemon, and the opponent's active Pokemon becomes confused and poisoned. That's pretty cool. Oh, I have another one. Scrafty. Battle Reporter. I love the artwork on this Mean Shao. Super cool. Uh, non Dragon Noibat, for some reason. Oh, we got a mean few and a mean shell in the same pack. A reverse hollow, maybe, kind of regular rare. Machine got a head, but it sounds like a pretty cool attack. And another hollow. Landris hollow. Nice. I've seen a lot of these cards in like the trainer's deck. That's kind of cool artwork. Herbal energy. It's like an unleashed, unlisted leaf energy. This card can only be attached to grass Pokemon. When you attach this card from your hand to one of your grass Pokemon, heal 30 damage. That's pretty cool. And it provides grass energy. Nice. And uh, another hollow. Hollow Claw Clawwitzer. Hmm. Interesting. What's it like a hollow in every pack? <laughs> I want Hollow Gengar, but I think the card I'm thinking of is a four. Yanma, one of my favorite second gen Pokemon. Although that's my favorite gen, so pretty much everything's my favorite second gen Pokemon. Adino, which is a really cool mon. Give me uh, a uh, Hydreigon Hollow, I'd be happy. Golpin, Lumineon, Lampin. Card of special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. That seems really situational. I don't know how often special energies are used though, so it could be really good. A reverse holo rare Gigalith. If this Pokemon has full HP, any damage done to this Pokemon is reduced by 50. What? That is OP. That's actually ridiculous. And a hollow venom? No, I don't think it's hollow. So I guess you're not guaranteed a hollow in every pack. That's cool. I like venom off. Nice uh, baton passer. Except I guess it's not because the baton pass was kind of made it ineffective. That artworks. That literally looks like a toy hippopotamus taken a a picture of a toy hippopotamus taken on a tree. That's cool. That looks really pretty too. I love Macargo, even though it's kind of garbage. Four retreat toss. That's kind of ridiculous. Delcaddy reverse holo, and it's a rare, so that's cool. <gasps> nice. That is really pretty. Is this technically a full art, or not so much? Either way, like, I'm 100% not gonna lie, I'm a Groudon fan over Kyogre, but this card is beautiful. 
Water pulse and giant whirlpool. Cool. One more, I think. And then there's this, which I don't know how to open. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's just a card and some coins? Are you serious? I wanted a pack. Oh! <gasps> I got the Hydreigon I wanted. That's super cool. I love Hydreigon. I used him in a uh, league format as well, and he is really good. Got himself a crazy headbutt. And a Dark Impulse. Once during your turn, you may attach a Dark Energy card from your discard pile to your active Pokemon. Cool. And this is the last pack. Give me something good, give me something good, give me something, give me... Whatever solo... Oh, no, it's common. Alright, we found that out in the other pack. I get a turbo, I've never seen this. Eh. Not super useful, in the wide ones. Damage from attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to is affected by weak that I don't know how that would work at all. Um the really good trophy is from that one grass there. And a Gligar sinistly looking at like a a castle or like a hotel or like a stage or something. It's like I'm gonna get ya and an execute getting wrecked by a Spiro Spiro and then execute getting wrecked by a Spiro. Boom 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 boom. And a talent flame regular rare. That's okay. That's okay. Too bad it's not from uh, Siege. What is it? Siege Steam Siege? I guess. Or else it would be able to be played first turn. <laughs> hey guys, sorry for the abrupt cut. Um, but I did a couple battles for the last video. Or actually, I tried to do the trainer challenge and it's glitched on one p person for the last one. And I did a battle online, but the person I was playing against just stalled a bunch. So anyway, I'm basically just here to record the outro. But I did play a bunch of this today for the trainer challenge to get closer to unlocking the two decks I don't have yet. Um, and I do have a pack of Primal Clash now, so I just figured I'd add one more pack to the opening. And see if maybe we can pull a ground on you yeah, to go with our Kyogre. Yeah. Um, whole bunch of new cards. That is pretty cool artwork. <laughs> that reminds me of the uh, painting, the screaming man or the screaming woman or whatever. Card a fire energy card from his or her hand to draw two cards once per turn. That's pretty cool. And well, it wasn't any X, but it was a uh, Groudon. And that I guess lowers our hollow ratio, which is actually ridiculous. Looking at it, we pulled seven hollows and two EXs in thirteen packs. Oh, maybe even yeah, no. I think that was the 14th pack. So, that's literally half of the packs had hollows. But anyway, if you enjoyed the opening, make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more openings like this. And don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Anyway, see you guys later.